Number 10, Delta, or the mystery of generation. By the word of, okay. By the word of Elohim were the seven Elohim manifest, even the seven spirits of God, in the order of their precedence. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of power, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of righteousness, and the spirit of divine awfulness. All these are co-equal and co-eternal. Each has the nature of the whole in itself, and each is a perfect entity. And the brightness of their manifestation shineth forth from the midst of each, as wheel within wheel, encircling the white throne of the invisible trinity in unity. These are the divine fires which burn before the presence of God, which proceeded from the Spirit and are one with the Spirit. He is divided, yet not diminished. He is all, and He is one. For the Spirit of God is a flame of fire which the Word of God divideth into many. Yet the original flame is not decreased, nor the power thereof, nor the brightness thereof lessened. Thou mayest light many lamps from the flame of one, yet thou dost in nothing diminish that first flame. Now the Spirit of God is expressed by the Word of God, which is Adonai. For without the Word, the will could have no utterance, could have had no utterance. Thus the divine will divided the Spirit of God, and the seven fires went forth from the bosom of God, and became seven spiritual entities. They went forth into the divine substance, which is the substance of all that is. Now the divine substance is the great deep. That is the first protoplasma. She encircles and embraces all things, and of her are dimension <coughs> and form and appearance. Her veil is the astral fluid. She is the soul of individuals and the receptacle of the divine nucleus. Now the divine substance is not matter, but she is matter in its potential essence. She is the manifestation of personality, enclosing the divine nucleus. There are some entities which remain forever invisible and intangible, being constituted only of two elements, that is of spirit and soul. These are fluidic beings changing their external forms according to the will of the spirit which they have received. They are persons because the plasmic substance which envelops the spirit of each hinders the intimate union of that spirit with other spirit. Spirit alone is diffuse, and the naked flame is liable to fuse with other flames. But the flame which is enclosed in substance has become an infusible personality. Other entities there are which are visible and tangible to material sense. For the divine substance, which encloses the spirit of each, coagulates exteriorly and becomes matter in the uttermost, so that the entity is composed of spirit, soul, and corporeal appearance. The outermost has become coagulate, its inner content is fluid substance, its innermost spirit. The innermost is intangible light, which is the first generation manifest by the will of God through the word of God. The fluid medium is the firmament, which the will of God divided from out of the great deep. And the uttermost is the dry earth, which is matter, which the will of God causeth to appear by the gathering together of the waters, that is of the first protoplasma, as of the greater, so also of the lesser. This is the great secret, the mystery of generation. Now of these two kinds of entities, invisible and visible, there are innumerable varieties and orders having different functions, consistence, form, and tinctures and dimension. 
There are thrones and dominions and principalities and powers. There are Christs and prophets and saints and congregations of the elect. And concerning these the Spirit shall give you your discernment hereafter.